Jose, I know we're in the middle of a shooting day, but I uh, was wondering if you could do an impromptu interview with me, please. Sorry, I'm writing a script. I know, but uh, I really need it now. How, how can I help you, sir? Uh, can you recommend a book, please? Uh, I can recommend a book called uh, Shadow Divers. Um, I can't remember the name of the author. It's a nonfiction book about these guys up in New Jersey who find a uh, sunken U-boat. Um, and it's a real life story. It's a fascinating account of how these guys went uh, and invented new technology because the, the U-boat was sunk at such a depth that they couldn't uh, use existing technology to, to dive it. So they had to go in year after year in the uh, short amount of uh, time that the weather permitted uh, for them to go and explore and discover what this U-boat was it's called Shadow Dive. It's fascinating. Awesome. Also feel like I've read the book now. Thank you for the uh, I get, clip get notes. The whole thing <laughs> Um, and what about a movie? A uh, movie, uh, you know, I'll recommend kind of an older one because I keep running into people that haven't seen it yet, which is, um, it's called The Devil's Backbone. Uh, it was directed by Guillermo del Toro. Uh, it's a Spanish language picture, and it's one of the most beautiful, simple ghost stories you'll ever see. Awesome. I can't wait for that. I'm coming for rehearsal, but uh, we've got to get this interview done. What about, what's on your iPod? <laughs> uh, my iPod has a lot of... Older stuff. I got uh, Beatles. I got Pink Floyd. Got a lot of '80s stuff. What are you listening to right now? Um, the latest band that I discovered, I found on uh, Conan O'Brien's show, mm -hmm. called The Joy Formidable. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they I like those called, guys. Uh, I think it's called Whirling. Okay. Uh, which is awesome. I heard them on Conan, and I instantly downloaded the whole thing. What's Joss Whedon like in real life? Uh, he's much shorter and fatter. Uh, no, he is about as uh, genius a writer as you're bound to meet. The guy sits in a room and in no time, in minutes, will come up with a story just off the top of his head or fixes for a story that's existing. He, he's just, he puts every other writer, including myself, to shame. And if you weren't a writer, what would you be? Uh, dead. Uh, I would probably be, my parents wanted me to be a lawyer, but I didn't want to do that. I'd probably be a teacher. Um, in uh, in an alternate uh, existence where I am, where my life is very different, I would have loved to have been a school instructor. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jose. You're welcome. Now we got to shoot this show. All right, good luck. Bye.